Welcome to week three, lesson two of the Store Manager Academy. Today is all about retail math, business math. Now, you're going to need two things in this lesson. One, a calculator, and two, a pillow. I guarantee you'll use at least one of them today. <laughs> don't, please uh, excuse the green screen. I don't know if I can get all of, the, all of this in here with the whiteboard. But today's lesson is going to be a value bomb for you retail managers. This is the type of training that you're going to need to set yourself well ahead of all the other managers that are in your territory, that are in the company. A lot of new managers just they are not trained on basic retail math, basic formulas that are going to help you from day to day, help you understand your business so you can make better and smarter decisions as a manager. So uh, what I cover is going to be pretty simple on the surface, but know that you need to have these formulas memorized so you can apply them each day. So let's start with just the simple stuff. Let's start with gross margin. The gross margin formula for dollars and percent because <clears throat> Really, you need to run your business on gross margins. Markup is very different from gross margin, and I'll explain that a little bit later in the lesson, but you, most businesses run on margin. In fact, all accountants run on margin. They take all of your sales, then they take your cost of operating, right? All the costs, the cost of goods sold, the payroll, salary, all your expenses included, and then whatever you have left over is your gross profit. And then they take that gross profit and they divide it by sales to get a gross profit percent for the year. And that's why you need to be using that same formula. So that formula is retail minus cost of goods sold equals gross margin, okay? Hopefully you can see that. Retail minus cost of goods sold is gross margin. Now, to express that in a percent, just like your accountant, you need to take your retail minus cost of goods sold and then divide that by retail. Okay? So for example, if you have, we'll make it real simple, if you have something that costs $20, or sorry, you retail is for $20, and your cost is 10, well, you're left with $10 gross margin. And then how would you express that in a percent? Most of you could figure that out in your head. It would be 50%, right? But that's just for kicks. Use your calculator so you can get used to this formula. Take $20 minus your cost of goods, which is $10. What you have left over is $10 gross margin. So you'll take that $10, Okay, and you'll divide it by 20. And that'll show up on your calculator as 0.50. That is your gross margin expressed as a percent. That $10 expressed as a percent. You took your retail minus your cost of goods sold. You were left with your gross margin dollars of $10. And then you divided that again, you divided that by retail to get your Gross margin, sorry, my board's not very large. Gross margin percent. You following me so far? Write this formula down. You need to, if you don't have this memorized already, you need to have it memorized. It is the most basic formulas you will use in any business for the rest of your life. Understand retail minus cost of goods sold divided by retail. That's how you get your gross margin percent. There's a saying that I've, I've taught my team for years. If in doubt, divide by sales. So if you're trying to figure out some retail math, trying to figure out you know, what this is, what's this and what's that, at the end of the day, the best thing you can do is divide that number by sales and you'll be in much better shape than, than most, okay? If in doubt, divide by sales. Repeat that to yourself. If in doubt, Divide by sales. All right, moving on. The cost 
Complement. This is a formula you need to learn, okay? This is a formula you will use a lot more than that gross margin formula. Complement. Did I spell that right? Cost complement? Don't judge me. So cost complement, the cost complement formula, it's a tongue twister, isn't it? This is used for adding gross margin to your cost so you can determine the retail price. For example, if you have something that costs, okay, let's just say uh, $429, that's your cost, okay? And you want 45% gross margin, okay? So you want a gross margin of 45%. What is your retail price going to be? Anybody know? Kudos if you actually know this formula, how you could get $429 to, and to that's the cost, how you can get that 45% gross margin and make a new retail price. I'm going to give you the retail price and then we're going to do the formula. So 45% gross margin on $429 is, hold on, let me figure this out, $780, okay? $780, give or take a few cents, is 45% gross margin. Check it. Check your math. Come on, pull out your calculator. Let's get used to, let's use the the gross margin formula that we just learned. Let's take our retail price, gross margins retail, right? Minus cost of goods sold, 429. That's $351. That's the, that's the gross margin dollars, but we need to find the gross margin percent, right? So we're gonna take $351 divided by our retail price. Look at that. 45%. Not bad for not doing it on my calculator earlier. <laughs> so that's how I checked my math just there. But let's reverse engineer this now. Let's actually give you the formula, the cost complement, where if you know the cost and you want to add gross a certain gross margin percent to that cost, what would be the retail price? That's what we want to do. So let's uh let's erase this here. Okay, and that's actually write the formula. So the cost complement formula is cost divided by one minus your desired gross margin percent. Did I lose anybody there? That equals your retail, your new retail price. Okay, what do we learn in math? I don't remember this in school, but luckily I learned it in when I was in business, right? You learn this in the streets. <laughs> Work your brackets first. So one minus your desired gross margin percent. So one is represented as 100. So 100 minus our desired gross margin percent. So let's work that. 100 minus 45. Any mathematicians out there? It's 55. Okay, so that is what I'll be dividing our cost of $429 by. So I'm going to take $429, see, hopefully you can see this over here, $429 divided by 0.55, okay? That's going to give you your retail price of $780. That is going to be your retail price. That is the cost complement. That is what you need to learn, that you need to master as a manager. It's cost, let's, let's highlight this formula here, okay? Cost divided by one, which represents 100, minus your desired gross margin percent, that'll equal your retail price. So 100 minus our desired gross margin of 45% is 55. So what's, whatever the opposite is of 45 out of 100, 
you're going to get that number 55. So 55. So I'm going to then take my cost of 429. Sorry, I wrote that backwards. 429 divided by what's my gross margin percent now? 0.55. That's the op that I'm looking for a gross margin of 40 45%, uh, but I first have to work the brackets 100 minus 45 is 55, so 429 divided by 55, 0.55, make sure you put that point, that is going to give you that $780. So that means if you sell that at $780 and you have a cost of 429, you will make a 45% gross margin. Okay, practice this one over and over. It will help you tremendously with any organization you work with and you will stand out as a leader, somebody that understands the math behind business. Now let's move on to some other things that can help you with your business. Let's move on to, we, we, we're looking for a retail price, right? When we had cost and we had our gross margin percent. So let's use, let's say we know our retail and we know our gross margin and we want to find cost. So let's reverse engineer cost, okay? So when you know the retail price, here are things you know. What you know. So you have a retail, you know retail, and you know, you know gross margin. And let's do retail of 300, let's see, $349. Let's just give you a number to work with. And we want a gross margin of, let's, let's make it a lower gross margin. Maybe you're in the white glove service. Let's do a gross margin percent of 27%. Okay, so these are the things that you know. You know the retail price, you know the gross margin of 27%. So what is your cost? How do you find cost? Cost equals, any of you know? I'd be really impressed if you know how to reverse engineer this to find cost. But if you don't know, let's actually use the formula. So, you're gonna t so your formula is cost equals retail, okay? Cost equals retail times one minus, you following me? The gross margin percent. So cost is what? It's retail times one minus the gross margin percent. So basically you take this 349 and, oh, well, I guess let's work the brackets first. So uh, one minus gross margin percent, 27%. What is that? So 100, work in the brackets, 100 minus 27 equals, any mathematicians? Oh, uh, 73, right? 73, very good. So that's what is going in the brackets there, 73.73. So we go back, retail, 349 times 0.73, and that will show you your cost. So put that in your calculator, 349 times 0.73, and you will find your cost is going to be, you're working at your calculator, $254.50. And some change, 77 cents, okay? That is your cost. Another important formula that you'll, you're going to use day in and day out. When you know retail price, you know gross margin, how do you find cost? The formula is cost equals retail times one minus gross margin. That is your gross margin percent that you know. So 100 minus 27 is 73. Retail, 349 times 
gives you the cost of 254.77. Now check that using the first formula we learned at the beginning of the lesson. Check it. Do your retail price of 349, subtract the 254.77, and take that number and divide it by 349 once again, and you will see that you have a gross margin of 27%. Isn't that something? It's amazing. Memorize this, learn it. You'll be much better for it. <laughs> I know some of you are sleeping over there. You're tuning out. Knock it off. <laughs> I know it's, a, it's not a fun topic to learn, but it's really going to help you as a manager if you truly understand this concept. Now let's talk about a markdown formula because you will use that a lot in your business. If you have product that's just not moving as fast as you thought it would, maybe you have a markdown system already in place, but some of you have items that just don't get put down on that markdown system and you want to move it. So how do you move it and still move it profitably? So let's teach you what the markdown formula is. So the new reduce, the, so the, let's do mark. Down. Okay, you take your new retail price, I'm just going to put RP for retail price, okay, equals current, whew, can you guys see that? Is that small enough? <laughs> current retail times 100 minus the desired, so current retail price times. 100 minus your desired mark down percent. You'll see this is very similar to the last formula that we used. So let's just uh, let's take this formula. I know it looks a little complicated. Let me translate real quick. Your mark down to get your desired mark down, you take your new retail price that is equal to your current retail price times 100 minus desired 100 minus so your one minus your desired markdown percent so let's just let's give you some numbers to actually work with so let's just say you have something at 599 okay your current retail price 599 and then you want to do a markdown of 25% so you're going to do 599 times 1 minus 25. What is that? 100 minus 25 is 75. So that's going to be 0.75 right there. You're working your brackets first. So 599 is your retail price, current retail price, times your desired markdown of 25%. So 0.75 and that will give you a new markdown price of 449. So new price 449 dollars. You following me? Make sure you do that in your calculator if you can't do it on paper. So you have Something that costs $5.99 or retails for $5.99, you want a 25% markdown, you're going to use your brackets. You're going to do 100 minus your 25, that leaves you a 75. So you'll times that by 0.75, and that's going to give you your new markdown price at 25% with a price point of $449. Give that a try with some SKUs in your store, start practicing it. All right, we're almost done here. I want to leave you with mark up, okay? Which is a very simple formula that you won't use that often, but you will have to use it occasionally. Because as we learned earlier, you want you want gross margin because that's what your that's what your accountant goes after. Your the company you work for, that's how they track their sales. Their gross profit is gross margin dollars, gross margin percent. That's how everything's tracked 
on your P&Ls, on your income statements, and so you really want to follow gross margin. But I'll teach you markup anyways because there are unique situations where you will use the markup formula. So the markup formula, it's real simple, right? Retail, so your retail price equals cost times, oh, let's do brackets here, costs here. Cost times 100 plus your markup percent, okay? Your desired markup percent. So let's, uh, let's just give you an example. Let's just say you have something that retails for, I don't know, $2.99, okay? And uh, you want to mark it up. Let's just, let's just make it simple. Let's, let's mark it up 20%. So you'll do $2.99 times, right, times 100 plus 20%. We're, doing, we're working with 100 percent, okay? So 100% plus 20% is what? Let's work the brackets. That's 120%. Pretty simple, right? So now you're going to take 299 times 1.2. Make sure you use your decimal on your calculator. So 299 times 1.20. And that will give you a markup price. Any takers? Three... 300 and what? 359. I did my math right. You guys want to check me there? Get out your calculator. 299. Oop, come on. 299 times 1.20. $358.08. .08. So I was right on the money by two cents. That is your mark up formula. You need to understand it. You need to be able to, to speak to it. And sometimes you'll use it, but most times you want to use your gross margin. I hope this was a value to you today. I tried to keep it short and sweet because it's a lot to understand. We, I, we could spend hours just on the cost complement, complement formula. So make sure you thoroughly understand that formula and go through the last few formulas that we just went through, master them, talk about them in our Facebook group, have some fun with it, give yourself a little quiz. I might even attach a quiz to this training eventually so you can just test yourself and get real comfortable with the formulas. I hope you enjoyed this training. I look forward to seeing you on the next module. We're going to talk about loss prevention. You don't wanna miss the loss prevention training. Thank you again for your investment. In, in, in becoming a great leader, this training is, is going to take you one step further than most managers. Thanks for your time. I look forward to seeing you on the next module.